Okay, so you guys are like me and you have a Senna Calm or a Senna Helmet. I actually have a Senna Helmet right here once I get this sort of half straight. And you have an Insta360 camera. Now, be aware that this works with the Insta360 Ace or Ace Pro, which is this one, or the Insta360 X4, which is this one. So I did try to connect my X3 with my uh, Senna Impulse helmet, and it didn't work. So the Ace Pro connected fine, but I kind of want the audio from this to go to the X4. And there's reasons for that. Uh, you guys don't need to really know, but uh, there is. Anyways, what I need to do is tell the Senna first to clear out all Bluetooth pairing so that I can connect this to the proper channel. Because uh, once this camera is connected to it, the helmet is gonna look for this and it's not gonna look for anything else. So let's actually set the X4 up. I'm going to actually do this for you guys. Uh, I'm hoping this will make it more reasonable. I'm gonna record this. I'm gonna put my uh, phone in my helmet so you can hear the actual voice prompts. And we have the X4 right here. So simply we're gonna turn on the actual calm for me, the helmet. So it's just the center button here and the up. Hello. Hello. Right. Battery level is high. Battery level is high. It should phone connected. start connecting to the phone, which is good. So the center button right now, we're going to click and hold it. Now you have to hold it for 10 seconds. Now the first time you hear a beep, don't let go because that's going to put it into like a, I think a, a calm Bluetooth pairing. So we're going to click it. Intercom pairing. Nope. No, keep it held. Configuration menu. Configuration menu. So now we're going to use the up and down arrows here. So phone pairing. Phone pairing. Second mobile phone pairing. Second mobile phone pairing. We just remember that one. Phone selected pairing. Media selected pairing. GPS pairing. Delete all pairing. Delete all pairing. So we're going to do that. So now we have all the pairing deleted. Because you notice there was two phone pairings. One is going to be for the phone. The second one could be used for a second phone, but I'm going to use it for this. So I think I exited out of the comm. So I got to do it again. One sec. Intercom pairing. Configuration menu. Configuration menu. So. Second mobile phone pairing. Second mobile phone pairing. So that's the one we want. We are going to turn this on. And basically when this is on, I think it's this way. Nope. This way. You'll actually see inside here when you scroll something that looks like a little pair of earbuds. See that right there? A little pair of earbuds. So we're going to tap on that. And it's you'll see it says searching. So I think maybe we just wait, retry. Senna impulse. So tap. Bluetooth headphones connected. Your headset is paired. And that's it. You're connected. Now, what I would do again is check to make sure that your phone is connected because if it hasn't connected, you may need to go into where it says Bluetooth pairing like for the first phone device and repair it again because we did purge all the Bluetooth connections. If this is the first time you're setting up an X4 or an Ace Pro, you won't have to purge anything. Just go through to where it says second mobile device, Bluetooth connection, and just use that. Then you're good. You'll have this connected and you'll be able to record what is coming through this microphone. Now in a future video, we're gonna use the Senna 
I think it's called the Center Red, uh, to be able to set up and actually record a whole group conversation through Mesh with Senna. That's going to be cool. All right, guys, quick video. But for those of you that have an Ace Pro, an Ace, an X4, and a Senna headset, so I believe it's the 50 series. I don't know if the other series will do it, but the 50 series for sure, as well as like the Impulse helmet, as well as their full face Senna helmet, will be able to do this. All right, guys, hopefully that was helpful, and we will see you guys next video. Later.